what is up chat let's freaking go dude episode two episode two hope you were here for episode one if not i'm sorry for you because we're jumping right in to episode two that is what we are doing right now Kiwakuan, <laughs> let's go dude i just wish tar won like one oscar you know it's a bummer I just give it one somehow, somewhere. Dude, just give Tar one and everything is perfect. Because my favorites were Everything Everywhere All at Once, obviously. Avatar, obviously. Tar. Women talking. Freaking. All Quiet on the Western Front, dude! Amazing! Top five war movies ever made. No question. Banshees, dude, of an Asherin. Yes! Could have easily seen Colin Farrell winning that, dude. Or, dude, anyone. Out of control. Banshees. Out of control. If anyone was going to upset Brendan Fraser in The Whale, it was going to be Colin Farrell. I was like, dude, I could see either of these. I could really see either. It's good. It was a fun show. I liked it. I thought Jimmy Kimmel was great. I thought the Oscars were great. Except let the Avatar folks talk a little more, you know? Like, they won one, you know? And it was for visual effects, like, obviously. Just like, come on. Also a bummer that James Cameron and Tom Cruise were not there. Yo. They are, dude, Jimmy Kimmel nailed it. He was like, the two people who were like, yo, theaters, theaters. They weren't there. What the hell? They were repping the two highest grossing movies of the year. Pretty much of all time. Out of control, dude. Two billion and one and a half billion, and they're not there. What? What was that, dude? I was offended. I was offended as a fan. I was offended. I was offended as a movie fan. I was like, they're both not there. What is this? What is this? I was offended. I was offended. I was straight up. I was actually offended when that when that was when that was known. I was like, what? Give me a break. All right, job Walking Dead, episode two. Here we go. On the Walking Dead. I know who you are. I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this. Yeah. Lots. I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bit. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. <laughs> Dog! Stop! Oh, God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. Let's go. Let's go. Chat, in the Easy Allies hallways, there's a picture of Lee and Clementine, just so you know. There's also a picture of Goku and freaking Vegeta as a ape Saiyan. <laughs> Three months. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, 
That's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. No regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. All right. Everyone's hungry. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. But he knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Everyone's tense, Chad. This is tense. Larry's just looking out for his daughter. Hey, I know Lily. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker. But the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Shout out to 1997 WWF pile drivers. Shout out. Everyone just hitting those heavy duty pile drivers. Take the shot. We need anything we can get at this point. Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come the on! The hell? First of all, how do you miss that, Mark? Come on. We need food. Jesus Christ. Christ. Four demo. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. <laughs> Even Leon hits the okay? shit. okay? Get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay, we're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Get chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, fucked up. You gotta help. Me. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Let's go. Hurry, please. Hurry. Let go. This trap's been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Shit. Walkers. Probably because we get shot me. at the bird, Chad. Get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Penny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh, no. We're doing it. Please do something. No, no. We're doing no. it, Chad. Try the trap again! Anything, please! We're doing it! Gotta get the chain! <gasps> Walking dead, dude! We're doing it! We are doing it! Let's go! Let's go! We are doing it, dude! 
Dire straits at the beginning of this chapter. Dire. Things are not good. Morale is down. Can't climb, dude. Just like. Do you know how Clem comes into the live action? At some point, dude. We got so many spin-offs coming, dude. Fear the Walking Dead's ending. We got Dead City. We got the Daryl spin-off. Michonne and Rick spin-off. Throw Clem in there. Mm. Be so hype. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come oh on! My God. What happened? Oh, what the hell? Hey, What's going on? We have time to explain. Hey, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, your I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come Fuck across. Fuck you, yeah we are. We have to focus on our Doesn't matter. group. Right here, right now. Doesn't matter. Well, hang Doesn't on. Matter. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, just no. put them last on the Fine. list. You guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Welcome to the family, son. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, <laughs> but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later, you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. God damn it. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you. <laughs> Where's mind. Rick? Dad, we need Rick. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? I just wanna side with Rick, Chad. That's it. I just wanna side with Rick. I will fall in line to Rick. I will bend the knee. <laughs> you think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Don't love Rick. Rick is it? 
nutcase. <laughs> Rick is an absolute unhinged nutcase in the best way. Dude, Rick just covered in blood. This is my favorite shit ever, dude. Rick covered in blood. <laughs> unhinged. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this. Sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but please, this man has no leg. It's what your husband wanted. Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. That's shocking, McCullough. Rick is my favorite character. <laughs> Rick carries the, the show for me. Absolutely. <laughs> he carries it, dude. Rick Grimes. Legend. Absolute legend. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Straight up. The, like, Robert Downey as Iron Man of TV. Andrew Lincoln as Rick Grimes. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Uh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need Chill to go. Out. Good God. Give him some food. Here, this guy's got our back. Thanks, Lee. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? I'm not giving you my axe. Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Nope. 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 You were not touching it. What? We have to give it up. All right, Mark will give it back. <laughs> you better give it back, Mark. Holy shit. Here, Mark, this should help. You better Thanks. give it back, hey, Mark. I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Cut Lee some slack. give that back. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. You can have some food too, dude. <sighs> Here, Larry. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. There you go, bro. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Yes. Sure. When yes. did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Good Thank boy. you. We gotta okay, find that hat friend. now. We gotta take care of some right things. now. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Where's the hat, dude? Where is it? I don't give a shit about anything. Where's the hat? Where is the hat? <laughs> Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever. Just like the rest of this place. Where is that hat? I need space, Lee. All right. 
Yo, we're just we're just looking for a hat, dude. I don't know about you. We're just looking for a hat. <sighs> Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting Straight like up. it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Dude, Lee. top ten Walking Dead episodes of all time. What is it? 18 miles out? 6 miles out? 8 miles out? What's it called? Dude. Dude. Chat. Best. One of the best. 18 miles out, dude. Yes. <laughs> yes. Unhinged episode. Love the unhinged ones. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? <laughs> I'm know, so but good. Gadget will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped Such off his leg. Job. There was no other way. So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, uh... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. He'll be prepared next time. Next time? Yeah. Give him some hope. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Clan, dude. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? No, not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay, I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said they'd find us. I know, I did. And until then... Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend. But it makes me feel better. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. Wow, dude. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? I'm not sure. I hope he will. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. Dude. 100% obviously. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No! <laughs> you were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix them. Catch you later, Doc. Bye, Lee. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh. 
That can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Back in Gotta the feed the kids, chat. Gotta feed the kids. It's not even a question. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Feed the kids. Oh, man, I'm so hungry! It's not even a question. Not such an easy job, is it? It's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee. Kenny, I know I ran out of food before- Hey, it was a tough choice. But you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Kenny knows what's up. Still. I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Feed the kids, dude. Feed the fucking kids. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? What? Shit! Panic! Panic! You get back! The fuck, dude! Holy shit! Get out! What? Jesus! Move, move! My God! Stop, dude! I gave you the axe, dude! I gave you the axe! We're dead. We are dead. We are dead in the walking dead. Dead. We are dead. We are dead. We are dead. Shit, it's stuck. Death counter, dude. We gave the wrong person our axe. Go for the kill, dude! What are you doing? Jesus! Shoot it! Jesus! You okay? Yeah. My God! Why'd you bring him here in the first place? Yo, give me that axe. Yeah, calm down. You're gonna get us. Give me that fucking axe right now. Why didn't you tell us you he was bitten? You've lost privileges. What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does Season it. one, dude. Brenner! Brenner! You come back no matter how- Brenner! If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all Noah of us. Noah Emmerich. The Americans, also in The Walking Dead. We're all in Brenner, dude. Everyone. Brenner. I- I guess so. I don't know, I- All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Brenner. Back off! 
Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said you're shady. Up. Harley. You're outnumbered here. Let's turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if, if you could part with some extra gas before we leave. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Bill. Our generators run on gas. Look, uh, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems Fuck fishy. Fuck yes. I'm so, in. Uh, what are y'all thinking? I'm in. You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your I'm dairy. In, in exchange, with Harley. you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power Dude, one of our generators Harley, we for got a while. this. Hundred percent. So this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Here we go, dude. It's nice Bonds. to get away from that motel Bonds. for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Barry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? Whatever they could get their hands you know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Well, the kid here is our newest arrival, but we're all looking forward to some food. We really need it. Well, here's to helping each other out. Well, trust we'd love this. to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got to trust food. it. Quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You good. think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Carrie are always pumped. Oh, is that Jesus? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. Pissing oh, are they? Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry, and all. you guys were keeping it off yourself. Oh, no. There's yeah, and you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Two! The world out here is gone. <laughs> Psychotic! Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Yup. Apocalypse, dude. Most apocalypse. <laughs> Here it is. St. John's family day. I feel like that would happen. 
Hundred percent, Y'all can see how we kept this place so Post safe. Apocalypse. That the exact scene would go down. You betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing four thousand bolts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Ah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come, for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you, remember. Those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Walking Dead when they meet people. Strange encounter. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing not over there. Fucking around. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working. Daryl Dixon. See it. And checking Rick the fence perimeter Grimes. sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? Now keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Got you, bro. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around Hell here. yeah, dude. Let's fix it, Lee. Let's fix that swing. 
Yeah, this is a decade old game chat. It's really remarkable. It really holds up. In fact, it's aged better. So good. Because it all comes down to writing, right? Sometimes. You can pull your weight in different areas and like this game to me has the writing. That's one aspect, but it's a big aspect. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Dead Miss Walking Dead. Where is it? <laughs> a couple months. Dead City and Fear the Walking Dead. Coming on up. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? We'll work it out somehow. Well, hopefully he'll calm down once he's out here. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Be too careful, dude. You nuts? Disgusting. Take that arrow. No doubt. Yo, we got our axe back, Chad. When did that happen? Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. <laughs> you never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right Hell now. Hell yeah, dude. I'm hungry too, Mark. You think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? Got you. Let's move this fence, chat. Chad, I'm gonna watch Walking Dead right now. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. 
Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What? What the? Get to the gate. Jesus. Jesus. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Don't think I can't see ya. Give us the food. Shit. I don't know. I don't know. You have to be yelling. We are on the best thing here. I see ya. Oh, God. I see him. The blades are stuck in the dirt. Blades, here we gotta move the blades. Get closer! Did you really think you fuck Here we go, here we go. We had here we go. It's still, still, oh my god! Shit, something's still What? Hot. What? The brick, the brick, the brick, the fucking brick, whatever this is. Come on, we can reach the gate. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! They're on the tracks Did you really think you could fuck with us? You're gonna die with me that time! Come, dude, I'm unharmed. What happened? Oh, shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I don't get it, you? Dude, it's not a big deal. Just move it out of the way. <laughs> There it is. A bit of drama. Now we're gonna Where do you think you're going? Dude, another dead. Give us the food! Ah, another one? How many of those things can we put down? You assholes! No big drama. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, you scum! Woo! Yeah, barely. Oh, no! Oh, dude, it's coming! Holy shit! Oh, shit! We're dead. We're dead again. We're dead. We are dead again! Holy shit! Another one? How many of those things Good did we grief, push down? Good grief, Chad! You asshole! Give us the food! Oh my god! Damn! Yo, I don't remember- I don't remember dying in this shit! But I like it. I like it. Feel the pressure. Feel the freaking pressure. You okay? Yeah. There. Come on. The gate's right there. I don't want to get shot. I can do this all day. I can do this all day, right, Captain America? Give us the food. We're getting away. Let's get out of here. You lucky sons of bitches. Captain America over here. We ain't going nowhere. Lee, what's wrong? Injured man. Uh, 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 there was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Uh, Bandits here on our property? Oh uh, my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no. Pull it honey. out! Come on, bring this guy. Pull it out! Come on inside now. We'll have your. <laughs> pull it out! What's that inside? What? Must be the best. What kind of shit is this? Pull it out! There's some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them Wherever to stop by making a deal. Do you know about chat. these people? 
Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes Jeez. are? They're hard to pin <laughs> down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Dude, we need to get St. John. Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows so and arrows. Too. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over. I if agree. We have to. Whoa, cool your Rick jets, there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not no. do anything to get us straight up. Out before straight we up, we're going full Rick Grimes. Help Dan deal with these That's it. You guys should try to make friends with. It is escalated, chat. We are taking well, that's over. Easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing watch. By the way, chat, so many people in chat, and not one person said Terminator 2 Judgment Day. For the answer earlier, I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm disgusted, actually. I've never been so disgusted in you, chat, in my entire life than at 1.47 a.m. at March 14th, 2023. You were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Looking on out for us. Check the generator. No question. We gotta make sure there's gas in this thing. How's it doing? How's it doing here? That thing keeps the fence electrified. We need to make sure it is good. Hold up, hold up here. <laughs> chat. I love you, chat. Don't worry. I still love you. Even if you let me down there. You let me down. <laughs> I guess Mark and I were lucky we were still touching this you. thing when it came up. Don't worry. Hug check all around. Love you so much. If a couple of two But rewatch Terminator 2 Judgment, Judgment Day, Day chat. Fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Rewatch it. I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm disappointed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. <laughs> Pull it up! It's in the very beginning of the movie, the first ten minutes! Pull it out! Oh, pull it out! Pull it out! Pull it out! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Do we need a mend the fence here? I tried. This is a high stakes conversation. We can't even talk to him. Okay, we can talk to Lily though. Lee, oh my God, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. 
Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. Hey. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. You gotta hold him accountable, Lily. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. How do you feel about leaving the motor? It's a hard tick. It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These I'll kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. I like that our inventory chat is an axe. <laughs> I feel safe. And secure because we have an axe. Chat. Do we really need anything else? Do we need anything else? Wait. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Where are the collectibles at? Shout out, dude. Shout out, Lee. Lee Everett. Lee Everett, chat, shout out. Shout out! Soak it in. Soak in the moment, dude. Soak in the peace. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Sometimes you just gotta soak in a nice, peaceful moment. That's all you can do. That's all you should do, really. All right, y'all, be right back. I'll leave you with Lee here for a moment, for pity's sake. <laughs> Just give me a moment as we take a little break on The Walking Dead Chapter.
Hello. How are you doing tonight, chat? How are we doing, Sarah? Sarah! <laughs> Dude, what up? What is up? Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Crops. Sheep farm. On the moon. Sheep farm on the moon, Chad. Sheep farm on the moon. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for marrows, if that becomes a problem. not enough room in the house for all of us. I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Important information. Whoa, whoa, if there's again? not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. I guess X and R2 are the same, same button chat. I was for R1. Fast walk. Sprint. <laughs> they look happy. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? 
All right, Duck, let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? Got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck. Don't pop a gasket. Joy. Hope Mark is okay in there. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. <laughs> no shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck are these people in the woods? <laughs> we don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So, are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what Let's we're up go. against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold Recon. down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Clem. Clem, I wish you could come with us. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon for the time. Clem, 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 Clem. Please be Clem. lucky. I will. Clem! Dude, one of my favorite video game characters ever in chat. Clementine. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. You found it? Keep it chill. Keep it chill. Do not open fire. I've been meaning to buy that continuation comic, but I've not. You see anybody? Stay, Stay on your guard. guard. Dude. Keep it chill. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the dude, Keep it chill. Keep it chill, dude. <laughs> oh my god, stay frosty. Stay frosty! Check those corners! <laughs> Oh my god. Clear. <laughs> this camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us.
This looks warm. Just water. Okay. This, th we, we always try to be spoiler free. We always try to be. You know, we're on episode two. We try to keep it to episode two and one. Nothing. That's how we try to do it. We try to. You know, when a Empty. game is super old, like this, it's a little harder. But we always strive to be in the moment. Or things that have come before it. In my chat chat. In the Huber chat. Looks like they expected to be here. <laughs> That's what I go for. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? A few sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Get those supplies. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Yuck. I don't need that. Devs love trash. They love when you're looking at trash. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Keep it chill, dude. There's no reason for hostility. There's no reason for hostility, dude. There's no reason. What do you find? A video Just camera. stay calm. Let me Just see that. Stay calm. Even though ten minutes ago I said let's go full Rick Grimes. Battery's dead though. <laughs> let's oh, yeah. let's dial it down. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a let's move on. Dial it down, dude. Let's dial it I down. I see you handled that gun. I lent you pretty well. You <laughs> Rick Grimes, dude. Top five most unhinged characters of all time, dude. That's why he's my one of my favorites ever, dude. Rick Grimes. Literally, chat. If you watch any show ever made in the history of humanity. Any show ever, Rick Grimes is top five most unhinged humans straight up. A hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. <laughs> Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. <laughs> Rick, dude. Rick Grimes, you fuck. Oh my god. Dude, Rick pointing a gun at someone covered in blood. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, we have examined, chat. We have examined. up in this was more like
Yeah, I just think Andrew Lincoln as that character is just like one of the one of the best like characters in a show, you know. That's why that's why I always give a shout out to Walking Dead. And he's like, it may not be your favorite character, but I feel like Andrew Lincoln as Rick Grimes is just like just legendary. Just like a top ten or like even if you're not that into it, like a top twenty of all time. Like straight up one of the best TV characters whatever baggage or opinion there is like cut through it all dude Andrew Lincoln as Rick Grimes <laughs> here we go Keep your guns down I ain't going back you tell him Jolene ain't going back hey we had a deal no shooting as long as we gave you food what the fuck happened you had a deal with them I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what oh, you shit. do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who are you? Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come, come back on. to the dairy. Recruit! <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. What? Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet. Put your damn what guns you down! About? You think I won't what are you kill you? Talking about? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your What are you talking about? Into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're what? monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. <laughs> yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'ma head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Dude, what? Go on, tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh. <laughs> okay. God damn it. You straight up murdered straight that up. woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. Stand down, bro. <sighs> Stand down. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still. What a waste. Bro. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this... They Chad, I would not message. make it in the apocalypse, dude. I would not make it. I would not last a week. I would be dead. I would be shot. I would be killed. They would take all of my stuff. And that would be that. Come on. Good night. <laughs> Good night <laughs> to maniacs like this. Just shoot him in the head, dude. What? Stand down. Stand down. Talk it out. Just keep it chill and work together. Work together. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. Jesus. Jesus. Just stand down, dude. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Gotta work together. My husband. Miss him every day. And screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, well, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Hey, Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. 
I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. Feast. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. That sick. Yeah, resistance. I'm down. Got a lot of playthroughs in the pipe chat. It's, it's a process. <laughs> it takes time. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. Jesus! My girl here. You're a nut. You really like that girl. What's well, not? You are in that case, and I do not trust you. Just kind of creepy. Yeah, you're also. a creep. Times like these, a two forty three will keep you warmer at night than any lady. <laughs> Holy <I've>. shit! <laughs> Holy shit! You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Oh my god! Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are lucky you're on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Chat, dude. Danny, from now on, <laughs> you noticed our suspicion? From now on, we will placate Danny. We will submit. <laughs> we will just keep it chill with Danny. But we'll be watching, dude. We were we we're playing 4D chess here. We're gonna try to keep it one step ahead of Danny. But he is absolutely on our sketch radar. We do not trust him, chat. We do not trust him. Whatsoever. Good grief. Well, I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. I'm just gonna borrow multi tool, dude. Deus Ex. Shout out Deus Ex One multi tools. One of my favorite items in video if games. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, <laughs> we'll be fine here. <laughs> Would have been nice to have one of these back <laughs> in the motor. <laughs> Straight up, Deus Ex multi tools. Chat if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Well, but they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Pardon me, Brenda. What's on your mind, Lee? Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. <laughs> How come you're out here instead of, you know? <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too So long. rudely. <laughs> we ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Your boy Danny is nuts. No, that's not a very nice thing to Nut say, case. Lee. He seemed to enjoy this woman's death. I'm sure he did. He is sensitive and willing to do whatever it takes to protect this place. No, he's nuts. <laughs> How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. 
Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He can definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Where's Herschel? I think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before Jeez. too long. We need her shoulder. Where are you? Damn it, Rick! If I could just help one person, I'll do it, and it's worth it. That's Herschel. <laughs> All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Hello. I'm gonna go wait for supper there. It'll be a good one. Creep. Creep show, dude. I'm so creeped. I'm absolutely creeped out by Danny. You were sacrificing the first chance we get. 100% chat. We will feed him to the wolves. <laughs> we will feed him to the wolves. They're storing <laughs> gasoline all over the property. Uh, doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. Walking Dead Season 1, Jizzle. Peak Telltale, for sure. I like all of Walking Dead, except maybe like one season. We won't talk about it until we get there, because I do want to play through. Lots of hay. Ugh. Enough of these might work as that. I think overall, else, though. If that becomes a problem. Great series. Season 1, though, is... Obviously. Season 1. I really like Michonne too. Michonne is really fun. And it ends well. I did like the final season. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. She says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> I don't know. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. Do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Mm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> I 
Zia, 100%, I agree. Season 9, Walking Dead, Season 3 of Fear. Culmination, for sure. Couldn't agree more. That is my take as well. Hope the final season of Fear is good, because that is the most inconsistent show I've ever watched through its entirety. I could never recommend Fear the Walking Dead to any human on this planet. Ever. I could never, could never ever be like, yo, you should watch Fear the Walking Dead. Nope. <laughs> nope. Absolutely not. Do not do it unless you are empty an obsessed walking dead fan <laughs> do not do it i'm obsessed so i watch it all even the world beyond and tales and all of it looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes Ooh. Smells pretty foul. I feel like something went wrong here. Let's try this one more time, just to be s thorough. There we go. It's a feeding trough. Yep. Let's let's feed. All right, let's get some food going here. Come on now. Let's be smart about this. She looks skinny. Can we feed? How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. I guess not. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. All right. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this Kenny. door. I got a Kenny. Look. They got boxes of stuff, and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Fuck it! Sorry. <laughs> Fucking Kenny, bro! <laughs> what? See those screws? Instead of breaking the bad lock, we can just take Fuck off the him. assembly, have a peek Lord inside, Kenny. then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Fuck Florida. him. Can I help you boys find Florida something? Man Kenny, Florida Man Kenny, dude. Florida Man Kenny. Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? 
Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. She's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. <laughs> He's like, hey, dude. Florida. Yeah, look at he is. Florida has an excuse, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, Florida. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Talk to Clem always. Woman like yourself run this whole place. Oh, I manage just fine. I'm uncomfortable. I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. So is Lee. Lee is uncomfortable. He does not like it. <laughs> Jesus. Good grief. Lots of hay. Uh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows if that becomes a problem. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying. Looking for a distraction, chat. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. What exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Season two. Everyone was pissed. <laughs> Hello. I saw a wheelbarrow over there full of garbage. <laughs> Some bloody clothes. Set. Things happen on a dairy. Cut myself darn bad just the other day. Blood everywhere. You seem okay. I'm tough. I'm gonna go wait for supper there. It'll be a good one. Creep. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Oh my God. Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. Mm -hmm. I agree. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? Right. I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise Come you that isn't. much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, Come you know. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. 
dinner will be ready before you Tell know. Tell what it is right now. If you're not hiding anything, tell me what it is. Go again. Tell me. Heart. Swear to me! What's on your mind, Lee? When will dinner be ready? Should be ready before too long. Do I look like a cop? <laughs> Swear to me. <laughs> Do you remember when you saw Dark Knight in the IMAX? Do you remember the moment? I do. I remember. I remember when I saw Batman Begins in the IMAX. So, Larry, it uh, looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? In that case. Hey, I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. In that case. Deanne Monacy, 15 months, love and respect to you. I really enjoyed the Oscars this year, Artek. Really enjoyed them. I would have liked Tar to have won one, but you can't have it all. I also thought Angela Bassett should have won for Best Supporting Actress. Because Jamie Lee Curtis was actually, I made a point to not look at the acting noms. When I was watching the movies, you know? And when I, you know, I, like, I just think, I just think Jamie Lee Curtis was like the least interesting part of that movie. Not to be that guy, but yeah. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough what already. What are you talking about, dude? I'm going in. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on. Tell us what's already. in there. Tell us what's in there. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Alrighty then. Yeah, and then you think like, oh, Jamie Lee Curtis has never got a Oscar, and it's like, well, she's like kind of a legend, you know, in the industry, and you know, you start thinking about those politics, and it is what it is. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. There's always gonna be those political votes in the Oscars. It's part of it. There is like the momentum and like talent side but then there's also that human that human element dude where like actual people are voting you know imagine a bunch of her peers have worked with this person for like decades you know she's never won one dude she's freaking jamie lee curtis it's like dude is this like her last chance to win one like has never had the opportunity before Ah. But on the other side, it's like, dude, it wasn't the best performance, but it is what it is. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff, even with the fence. So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just Tell me what it is, and I can get it for you. Eh, not that important. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. We're going in. I don't give a shit. It's the only way to be sure. Okay, let's do it's this. It's the only way to be sure, chat. False alarm. Son of Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around <laughs> with that. Come on, enough already. Damn it. <laughs> I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. 
There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. Something out there, dude. What about those generators? That's exactly what I was thinking, Kenny. This is a terrible idea. Let's go sabotage our own defense to look at what they're doing. Great idea. Great idea. What could go wrong? What could possibly go wrong than sabotaging our own defenses, chat? Let's find out right now. is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Come on now. Come on, Lee. I don't I don't think that did it. I don't think that did it, chat. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something Damn goes it. wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Yeah, a lot of it. There's always a balance, Queen Boy. I watch the Oscars every year with with great interest, and I make a point to see all of the movies involved. You know, or at least like eighty plus percent. And like a lot of the times, it's a balance. It's partly political for sure. It's like, oh, that was a political one. You know, makeup, whatever, whatever. Oh, they didn't win it years before. They got it this time. Got it. But then there's time when it's like, yep, you were the best, you're riding the momentum, you got it. For sure. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Andy needs something again. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Come on, dude. Stay away. Stay away. Okay, let's, let's do, do this. this. False alarm. I'm Son back. of a... <laughs> Son of a bee. Help us out, Kenny. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. All right, all right. Maybe Clem will help us. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. Let's go talk to... Lily, dude. Let's see what Lily has to say. Let us see what is up. Gonna light this on fire. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Crazy. Hey, I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Wait, doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. A little stumped here, chat. A little stumped. Let us see. We're gonna give it another pass. And then I'm gonna throw up a signal flare. Because we've checked all of those on this side of the fence for sure. 100%. 100% that side is secure. We're gonna go this side, dude. We've definitely checked that generator. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. Hundred percent. I'm clueless about this stuff. Check that fence. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Check this. If a couple of tools out of the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Check the boards. Well, but they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. Coming over here. 
talk to this nutcase one more time. Hello. I'm gonna go wait for supper there. It'll be a It'll good be one. a good one. Yeah. Yeah, Lee. You better enjoy that food. Yeah. That fixed. That should make everyone happy. Freak? Freak? Pardon me, Brenda. What's on your mind, Lee? When will dinner be ready? Should be ready before too long. Chat, I'm sorry. Signal flare time. I checked everywhere. What'd I miss? What'd I do wrong? Anybody know? Oh, what is this? What is this here? Mailbox. No mail coming in or out these days. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. What'd I do wrong? Give me a tip. Gas keeps the generators going, and the generators keep the fence going. You need tips. Uh, doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. Turn this off again? Let's try that. Here we go, child. We found it. We are good. There you go. Full sabotage. Ow, damn it. The thing is moving fast. Turn it off. Turn sabotage. Like a maniac. There. That should do it. Sabotage. It's a bad idea, Chad. Good grief. <laughs> Find this piece Good. of shit. Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever. Such a bad idea. Chat, let's see what's behind door number one. Ah, oh, come on, mom, dad, dinner time. It's dinner Can't time. Need you to get our back, okay, honey. Let's get our get back. back, dad. No, nope. dad, come on, let's eat. Kenny, come you along. Go on ahead. Kenny, come on, don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing. Hell off. yeah, Kenny. Paranoia. So I want to be sure, dude. Trust no one, dude. Fox Mulder. Fox Mulder! Mulder would fucking pry this off. He would be like, What is behind the door, Scully? What are they hiding? We're gonna find out. So I want to be sure. Mulder, we're a guest on their property. It could be anything. Then why are they hiding it, Scully? <laughs> Here we go. Boy, didn't you hear you the bell? You son of a bitch. Dinner time. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but... Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. What? <laughs> okay. Alright, Lee. Just walk away. Why do I feel like it's human flesh? <laughs> oh, Brenda, you wow. are me. Why do I feel like they're cooking human flesh? Oh, Excuse boy. me, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry, that was a while ago and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down, I'll go get the meal. 
Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mom? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands? Dude, first. they're cooking Mark. Bathroom's right outside. One hundred percent. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt. They're cooking Mark, dude. One hundred percent, chat. Mark is being cooked. We gotta get the fuck out, dude. We gotta find proof, and we gotta bounce. I don't trust it. I could use a shave. Gauze pads. Yep. Just shut it. Just to make sure. Cover our tracks. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Scre Dude, this is Texas Chainsaw Massacre shit. Are you joking? Scratches on the ground, chat? Okay. Aren't getting through that okay. Thing. Sure. Sure. That's not suspicious. The Everett is the MVP. He's the fucking goat. That's why season one is the goat. Everett dude in the lead. Not supporting. Lead. Lead. What's back here? What is this? Do they need so much morphine? Is that morphine? I, I could use some morphine. Mama. Mama. What's that in? Musty as hell. I guess someone needed some first aid recently. I guess your chance to break even. Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. Good job. IV tube sink. Good job. Good job. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? Even redemption. Huh, where is that cord going? This is suspicious, chat. This is very suspicious. What the hell? What the hell? What the? What the? Ugh, what is this stuff? Looks like a bunch of medical waste in here. IV tube, saline. What would dairy farmers need with this kind of stuff? What the? Have our axe out, dude. It says on the left side of the screen, as you can see, we have an axe. We are not unarmed, dude. We look unarmed, but we are packing. Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. We are packing more than a gun, dude. We have an axe. Here we go. What is this? Oh god. Oh god, chat. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh god. Lady behind you. Watch your back. Lee. Lee, dude. What the hell happened? Lee, watch your back. Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat. Lee, behind you. This is fucked up, dude. Oh no. Clem! Clem! Clem, dude! No! 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 Fuck! Clementine! No! Lee! Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? 
Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. They could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Okay. Ridiculous. Ah, oh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? They're picking us off to trade us meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Britta, tell me he's not being eaten right now. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Lily, grab a knife! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. Black Put your fuck. guns down! We're walking out of here! here my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? Ah! You motherfuck! You fucker, I'll tear you apart! Get your hands off Clem. Dude, I'll rip this guy apart, chat. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, dude! <gasps> Holy shit! In time. Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna Clem, be okay. We got you. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. We got you, Clem. Yeah, the walkers. Dad, please. Please settle down. Could there be a hole behind these pallets? I'd make you swallow them. No such luck. Come on, try yourself. Dad! Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. There's more of us on the way. Let us Which I ever seen one hundred? Shelves are pretty sturdy. We could climb up, uh, but there's no way out through the ceiling. Show. They're not gonna open the door. Good. You, you think a Show fucking apocalypse meat. gives you the you right ever the movie? to Don't want to know what alive? <laughs> Good. Move. Dad, this isn't helping. They got caught you in Duck, Lee. Those fuckers have my family. I know. We're gonna get out of here and find them. 
I'll break that guy. Yo, eating human meat yeah, is the go. least of our concerns. We gotta stay alive. Easy. It's life or death. If we eat a little human flesh along the way, fuck, but <laughs> as long as we're alive. No. Dad, come on. Dad! Oh god, he stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead. He's not dead! You know what has to oh, happen. God. Think about oh, god. it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. No, I man. truly, truly am. But in a few minutes. Brenner, dude! Dr. Brenner! Four, pound, it varies. Dead guy. Fuck you! We can could be five him minutes, back. could be hours. Morning later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. You gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back oh, this dude. time. God damn it, Lee. I need you. Please help Sorry, me. Sorry, dude. Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake Open up. Lily. Lee! Is he breathing at all? No. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. He's not dead, dude. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn! What? You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch! Breathe! You're fucking worthless, Lee. No! <laughs> Kenny, I'm sorry. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just... It had to be done. You don't know that! Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. Bro! I'm sorry. Bro. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! Fuck. Come on, dude. God damn it. Are you okay? Is it over? Yes. For now, but we still need to find a way out of here. I know, I know, but you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. I know it was necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna Jesus. do to us. Good God, dude. Good God. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. You talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Duck? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have- No! They, they need Katja, remember? Well, she's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him, that's all. <laughs> just give me, just give me a second, <laughs> dude, that's a lot, It's a lot, It's a lot of emotional trauma there, a lot of action, dude, I'm, I need just a breath, I need a beat, I need a breath, I need a breath, okay? <sighs> My god. Talk about an escalation, dude, Kenny, just wait a second. Just wait a sec. Dude, just have like the salt lick ready to go as soon as you see the. Blah, boom! 
Not a second sooner, not a second later. Hang tight. Hang tight, Kenny. Have it ready to go, dude. Finger on the trigger. Waiting. Waiting, dude. Wait it out. Good grief. <laughs> My god. Didn't even wait for a twitch. Exactly, Hylian. Exactly. Didn't even wait until some twitching or anything. Just immediate head smash. Win Fox. Kenny secretly hated the guy. Dude, totally. And they built it up. You remember episode one, chat. You remember. They have been building that bastard up as a racist, prejudice, selfish, overall piece of trash. And to take him out like that, dude, it's pretty damn good. Because you question it. You question it even after everything he said. You know? Even after all of it. Has some heart attack, head smack. <laughs> it's like, dude. Still Lily's dad, you know? And Lily knows. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's so good. It's why the shit won goatee. It's why the shit won goatee, chat. Because of moments like that. Still holds up after all this time. So great. Chad, I'll be right back and then we're going to finish this off. We're about a little over two hours in. These episodes run for about two and a half, three. So we will be back to finish it off after one last break. Stretch it out, get some water, get ready to go, and we'll finish this off. Righty chat, let's finish it off. He was still lively. He was still alive. Jenny, he made a bad call. It was premature for sure, but he was trying to keep us safe. That's bullshit. That's he cares about keeping his family safe. He doesn't give a shit about you and he me. He puts his family first, sure. Just like Larry did. I'm sorry, Lily. Brutal kill, dude. Brutal. Brutal kill. Necessary, but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's gonna do to her. 100% same.
gonna survive this shit, we got to work together. How do you expect Lily to work with us after what she just saw you do? If she wants to live, she'll work with us. If she doesn't, then Jesus. the hell with us. Shane, dude. Shane vibes. Kenny has strong Shane vibes. What now? What? You don't want to hang me up on a meat hook and leave me to rot? What I want isn't important. What I know is their safety in numbers. You got any ideas? The air conditioner. Air conditioner? What the hell are you talking about, Lee? I don't see any air conditioner, dude. Do I see an air conditioner around here? Ah, I see it. There it is. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Clem. <laughs> Damn it. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the Carbon screws. Carbon multi-tool. Multi-tool. <laughs> of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, uh, a rock won't help. But a coin Dude, I love that Clem has a fucking a rock. Are you kidding, chat? I love that Clementine has a fucking rock. Dude! Goaty. Goaty. Dude. Go. It's not coming off that way. Love that. It's so good. It's not coming off that way. Just some casual rock. <laughs> what? What? If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Something, dude. We'll find something. Got anything? Listen, I need a coin or something. It's important. It could get us out of here. <laughs> well, I got nothing. How about you? Please. I need to be alone. God knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here. We need your help. And Larry, check the corpse next. I think I may have found a way out of here, but I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Yeah. Your permission do what you have to do oh boy uh, any idea which pocket he keeps his change in check the right dude most people are right handed this side here we go yep. two quarters and a dime and get this unit off. That's a good looking coin. Ray tracing. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. That's a ray traced coin, chat. <laughs> RTX is on, dude. <laughs> our way out, Lee. <laughs> Shit. We don't know where it leads. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. I can find <gasps> out. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This'll help us get back home. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Dude, Clem has the fucking sickest moments in this season, chat. That is what I'm realizing on this replay. Clem is just sprinkled in in the most epic moments. My 
goodness. Kenny's out of control. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. <laughs> Kenny's out of control, dude. We need to sand down. It's a loose cannon. Yo, what is his Resident Evil shit, dude? <laughs> Evil within vibes. I told you there was something up in this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. Weapon. We're armed. Chat, we are armed. Ugh. I think I'm gonna be yep. sick. Me too, Lee. Me too. The matter of the meat. Oh God, what's wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sent them and tied them there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Great, great. <sighs> Chat, we are armed. We have weapons. Dude, I kind of want the meat, the the hook. Dude, the stun gun is pretty... That, that seems more efficient, though, the stun gun, you know? You'll take someone out, boom, they're stunned! Jesus, this is where they butcher people. The hook, you know? Sick you could hit them, they'll be like, ugh! Oh! Whereas if they take that stun... I think it's more computer accurate. Also, though, how do you, how do you pass up a sickle? How do you pass up a <laughs> sickle, Chad? Fuck. What would Jason take in this room? He would take the sickle. Ooh. How am I gonna pass this up? How am I gonna pass up a sickle? It's just so, it's just so violent and bloody, dude. It's a little intense. Let's just take a quick, we're, we gotta go stealth. We gotta go stealth. We gotta take the, the prod, yeah. You know I love my stealth, Chad. Clan will be safe in here for now. You know I love my quick and quiet stealth. What the hell do you think Keep you're it doing? Silence. Get my family back. What are you gonna do? Walk up and grab his gun? Good a plan. Dude. Bro. Let me take point. Damn it. Don't, 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 dude. You cannot be trusted. It ain't right making a stay out here all night. I didn't do them. They just treat me like I'm some kind of screw up. Hey, what are you doing outside the bar? Oh, shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. Uh, sitting out in the rain like a damn weird. What's he doing out there? I'm afraid we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect a problem. One to keep and kill. Right? I'll keep an eye on him. Be ready to act when I say. See how he's doing it now. I'm the lead on him. Pray. Mm. You see? Oh, I know, man. This is my favorite part, too. When I let one think they can just he's walk inside. right out. He's not coming any closer. I never see where he's down. I don't 
see him anymore. Where the fuck did he go? I don't know. Look again. He didn't go past us. See where he is now. Jesus, Kenny, all right. Good job, Kenny. No! What is that? Kenny, you scum. Kenny, you scum. Uh, you see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. It's how the world works now. Trainer. Get part of yourself. So others can live. I should fucking kill you right now. Mark never volunteered to be <laughs> food. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're all Jesus. tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like he didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what I it don't takes. Have what it takes. <laughs> fucking I coward. Don't, I don't have what it takes. <laughs> This is not how the world have works takes, now. Chat. You won't make me kill you. Clem is pleased. It's all that matters, dude. <laughs> Jeez, was smiling. Go. So, I'll cover you. Just stay here and keep Clementine safe. I'll be right there. Like the Lily and Clem bond. chat have a good night everybody everyone going to sleep have a good night who's this nut this is some spencer mansion creep what was that dude daryl dixon dude carly bro this guy too okay you guys have been gone so way too long. sick Your help. Yeah, when you guys didn't come back, I figured something was up. What can we do? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Doc and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't need <laughs> Stick close. And Lee, be careful. Carly, dude. MVP. MVP right now. What is happening? We gotta go. We get in there, dude. Uh, I'm gonna take the boy and take around. No, please don't take my boy. Let go, woman. Set him down. I don't want to hurt you. Baker shit. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Yeah, it's me. Shit. Come here. Let me go! <laughs> oh, whoops. Lee, get back! Don't come in here! You just had to go snooping around, did ya? Let her go, Brenda! This is not good, Chad. This is not please, good. Please, please don't you take another come step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Chad, this is not good. Don't play. This is not good. This is, dude, stand down. Okay. Everything's chill. Everything's fucking chill. 
I'm not moving. Keep it chill, lady. Dude, what is there? Dude, there's nothing. Can we talk? Let's negotiate. Dude, can I walk away? I have to walk forward. It's the only option. Okay. 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 Think about what you do. It doesn't have to end like this. A killer, Lee. Just let me go. Dude, don't. 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 Just stand down. Please stand down. Please stand down. Come on. Dude, Stay put back. the gun down. You innocent, stupid. Let her go, Brenda. Ugh! <laughs> 
Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit! It's over! Fuck you! As soon as Dana Mama get out here, you... you all fucked! <laughs> Said it's over. Just walk away. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee. Get back here and finish this, Lee. Here and fight me like a man, Lee. Relax. Lee. Oh, shit. Oh shit. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you Hell know. yeah. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, they were. That is sick. God, just... Ugh. Clementine, she doesn't know, right? Ouch. She's not stupid, Carly. <laughs> Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Hell yeah, dude. Fear the Walking Dead. Document that shit. <clears throat> How? How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. Dude, Al and Isabel, I hope they There's come gonna be fallout. And something. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? You murdered Larry. Fuck you, man. You're alive because of me. Why didn't you have my back? I saved your wife and kid. No, I saved them by making sure Larry didn't kill us. Kenny, dude. You're unhinged. I couldn't do it, Ken. Well, maybe we should stay out of each other's You're way. You're unhinged, while. dude. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? No, they're alive and suffering. They were very bad people, but if they die, it won't be because I killed them. Okay. Hey, Dad, what's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh god, not more strangers. Dude, we are so vulnerable right now, child. We are in the middle of the woods in the middle of the night. After shots were fired. Good <laughs> grief. We gotta get out of here.
Don't shoot. We're here to help. No quarrel. I've got no quarrel. Friendly. We're friendly. I am unarmed. We have women and children here. We have kids. We mean you no harm. <laughs> oh crap. Some like medieval shit. Baby, you gotta see what this. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. The fuck? This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined Straight their up. lives. Straight up, 100%. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? You're right. We shouldn't take this. What? Did you get some meal back there the rest of us missed out on? We have to take this stuff. You're on a real tear today, huh? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> Come on, Kenny. Between this and the meat locker, you know Kenny, what Kenny, you s nut! Fine. Suit your nut! Stuff. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Kenny, you're unhinged! Okay. What have we got Kenny, in here? Bro. Look, there's more food in that box. They have antibiotics. What else do they have? See if there's any water. Here. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Lee, there's a hoodie in here. Could probably fit Clementine. She's good. Thanks. She's good. Whatever, man. It's gonna get cold out eventually. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. It's disturbing. I'm disturbed, chat. I'm disturbed. This is some real creep shit. <laughs> 10 out of 10 spoilers. 100% 10 out of 10 spoilers. Look away, chat. Look away. Look away. They're just like, yo, here's the entire next episode on display. All the main story beats. 
because they want your five bucks. Remember, each episode was only five bucks, chat. It's like twenty for the season or five in a ep or an episode or whatever, right? Back in the day. You gotta watch out for those spoilers, though. You gotta watch out. You gotta watch out, chat. You gotta keep your distance from the spoilers. There's no way to skip it either. There's nowhere to skip it. <laughs> All right. We got that trophy pop. Chop David's leg off, 44%. Shot Jolene, 61%. Helped kill Larry, 51%. Didn't help. Killed both of the St. John bros. 61% didn't. Stole food from the car. Did not steal, dude. Look at that. 49. Half. It's so crazy. It's so crazy how close all of these choices are. It's absolutely unhinged. Nothing about Clementine eating the meat there. So I feel like she eats it no matter what. Chat. Because there is no choice there at the end. There's no Clem eating the meat choice. Oh man, I thought we were so fast too. I thought we ran out of there. Dang. We ran so fast, chat. We ran so fast. Booked it. Didn't we book it? Dude, check the tape. Check the tape. Good shit. Good shit. Episode 2 of 5. Walking Dead chat. Love and respect to you. We will be back. We will be back one day with episode three, whenever that may be. Who knows? Could be tomorrow. Could be three months from now. You never know. You never know. Who knows? Who knows? One of these days. One of these days. Episode three. We will continue. Continue on. The beautiful season one journey check. Wow. Wow. <sighs> wow. Season one. A cut above the rest. <laughs> A cut above the A cut above the rest, chat. <laughs> Why it's so celebrated you to put this entire studio on the map, you know? I mean, this is the one. This is the one. For sure. All right, Chad, thanks for hanging out. As usual, thanks for watching so much. We are the allies, and we will see you later today. Later today, chat. <laughs>